Yo, yo, yo. What Ayo. Ayo. Back again in this BI. All right. So I wanted to start off already with something because me and Brandon have a friend who used to roll the best blunts back in high school. And I was just thinking of this. That motherfucker could get paid to be rolling blunts right now for some high-end celebrity. Should reach out, talk to him about that because that's so like, that's a friend. paying gig. Like, that's I'm a paying friend. gig. Who is this friend that you speak of? That would be uh, <coughs> Dylan. That would be Dylan. Oh. Dylan ain't nothing. Uh, I, I roll better blunts. Than no Dylan one, now. that motherfucker. No one made blunts like him. He took that engineering well, shit to another level. If he would have was... made a career out right, of that, right, he'd be I'll a millionaire. You, he'd I'll be a millionaire. You, I'll tell you this: professional blunt like, roller. We, <laughs> we didn't even we didn't really smoke blunts like before we started kicking it with Dylan. Like that's the whole thing because we that's and like and when, that's why because when they he were first all started doing shit. it like he would like except for him do the shit fucking melt the straw in there and shit and like <clears throat> yeah like it was definitely some my new shit like i never I, I had never seen that at that point in my life but it's like it's just crazy because people are making like full-blown careers more than your mom makes in fucking two years and like a couple Maybe blunts. More than your mom was right. <laughs> Fucking, uh, like, and you know, Dylan, any one of us could actually do that if we just fucking tried. Hey, kids, if you want to have a good career, you could be a professional blunt roller. Just now, start it, now. Yeah, but that like that career got a <laughs> shelf life though. That, got, that career got a major shelf life. But like, if you fucking well, it's it's good money. Anyone can, can roll. It. I mean, unless you stand out, you have to do some crazy are you, you have to be likable too you can't just be okay. some square rolling blunts like fucking <laughs> gotta be a good time yeah i need it all I the mean, right no def- blunts, i though. definitely have to smoke with you a few times before i can hire you <laughs> as my bro- blunt Fresh. roller i remember blunt fucking roller. back in the day i can i can't remember who it was if it was like future <laughs> or waka flocka or something but they like had a contest on instagram like Whoever could roll the best blunts, like they would hire them as their like, yeah, personal personal blunt roller. And like, uh, there were so many crazy shits, like getting like blunts that were rolled to look like animals and shit, like look like what? symbols. Like there was an octopus blunt, like yeah. it, had, it was like one, it was like like eight long like tentacles, but like in the blunt, like filled with weed and shit, and like a big ass like the head part and shit. It was crazy. Yeah, and those are just, those are like, yeah, there's this dude who makes fucking life size AK 47s and shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, that dude makes so much fucking money. Granted, it costs like a shitload to make one of those, but he he makes his money back fast. Yeah, Yeah, motherfuckers be paying like a hundred grand for those motherfucking blunts, bro. Miss me with that. We need She's to like, title I'm, I'm this. trying to get high, not start Already, writing. we need to tell this. Miss me that. Miss me with that part too, because fucking <laughs> got me fucked up. I don't care how Bummy. much money I can have. Bill Gates money, and I'm not spending a hundred thousand dollars on a blunt. I might just to stay there. Nah, because we, we got simple. We got simple no tastes. Way. We got simple I have a tastes. Dinosaur. And, it's you know, not that I. It's not that I have simple tastes. It's just that that is just a. Financially irresponsible decision, I feel like no matter how much money. Are I you have. really talking about financially irresponsible decisions? Well, what you, what well I honestly what's think that, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you know damn well what it means, man. No, I don't. What the fuck I know I you have some, financially I know you have some monsters in your closet. I don't know, some shit that you out. bought that you just don't want to talk about. <laughs> Not a hundred thousand, not that cost me a hundred thousand dollars. The fuck? Well, nothing's gonna cost you a hundred thousand dollars, but Jeez. a stupid financial decision is a stupid financial decision. My all right, I'll say I'll share my number one stupidest financial decision like that I ever made. All right, I don't like I look back at it now and I think like I was kind of dumb, like, why did I do that? But there was I was like 
21, 22 or something. And like, I didn't have a computer. And I was like, fuck, like, I want a computer. Like, I need a computer. So uh, I go to fucking Khan's, Khan's Home Plus. If you fucking are seeing this, zero out of 10, do not recommend that anybody do this. Like, it's stupid as hell. Like, you go to these places, it's like Renner Center and shit, and they're like, yeah, we get you a laptop. Like, fucking, you pay this amount of money per month, fucking for this long and shit. And like, seemed like a good idea to me at the time. I was like, fuck it, I need a computer. Like, screw it. So I do it. Yada, yada, yada. A couple years go by. I'm like, fucking paying it off, paying it off. And then, like, I lose my job at the time, or actually, I quit my job at the time uh, to fucking play for honor. <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, so I couldn't make the payments for like the longest time. I fucking was like dodging these people's calls and everything. Like, and uh, when I finally like got back to paying it and shit, like it had like de- it fucking took a shit on my credit for sure. And then like plus just like all the time I spent paying that shit off, like all the money I spent paying that shit off, like I could have just bought a fucking laptop, like straight up, like because it was like exit like. And like I remember when I finally got to like the last couple months, like they called me like and they were like, "Hey, we just saw, uh, we just want to say we noticed you're like only like a month or two away from finishing off your laptop payment. We wanted to see if you uh if you had an interest in uh, getting something else. You want a TV? You want a couch or something?" I was like, "No, Satan, no, thank you. Fucking be gone, couch. Yeah. Yeah, get the <laughs> fuck away from me." And you the, want fu- a couch, the, most, man? the most fucked up thing about it is. It straight up crapped out and stopped working on me for or like like a month before I was done paying it off. Now oh, there should be like, insurance for that. There was, but I fucking I had it for like five years. Like it worked for me for five years. Like like right after I was done paying it off, done. <laughs> like I took it to a I took it to a place. They were like, yeah, we we don't even know what the fuck's wrong with it. Like you downloaded too much porn. No, dude, I didn't fuck like <laughs> on my. PC uh-huh. and my computer, uh-huh. shit, none of that, none of that. Yeah, like, you can't true. even open it. It's stuck closed. I know this button. It's stuck closed. The hard drive is glued fuck to it. the fucking <laughs> disk. <district. laughs> like buttons not, are all dude. stuck together. The, we can't fix it. On the PCs and shit, like the fucking shit that costs hundreds of dollars. No, none of that. Uh-huh. Fuck the it. keyboard's all dusty, but the letter P O R N is just clear as day. Because like I remember when I was a kid back in the day, like getting viruses on the fucking Dude. family computer, and I'm like been Bruh. traumatized ever since then. <laughs> like I'm like, nope, none of the no porn on the computer, man. They used like, to, they this, used to make it obvious that, that you were yeah, looking at bro, porn because you, you'd be yeah. like, like you'd be like, oh, that was nice, that was a nice site, and then like you'd you would like log back in and it would <laughs> pop up with already like. A Dude, bunch of like, shit. It Our pop-ups. Like, like, you would get spam remember... with pop-ups, and you're like, my mom's remember... gonna know. Dude, I remember... <laughs> Something's up. Like, Wipe the fucking I hard drive. The, fucking, the scariest shit. Like, I remember... Dude, I had to, like, I hard was, reset uh, my dude, shit. I fucking <laughs> had just, like, was looking at porn on the family computer, like, way back. I think this is, like, middle school. Dude, this and is when like, it was hard and, to like, come by. Yeah, and, like, there wasn't, like... Like just like broad general sites now, like you just go to Pornhub nowadays. Like there was no, you had to like search deep search for that for shit. That. Like fucking like, and it was like just the fucking worst websites. Like you just like you knew you were getting a fucking virus from this shit, but you're just like fuck it. Man, I don't man, care. Cares. And uh, I remember one time I was looking at someone and I stopped and I like, exited out, and then like I'm like it's big, it's back on like the main like wallpaper screen. Like with all the icons and shit, and like I just like <laughs> it's the same <laughs> wallpaper I had, but then I just notice that there's like like little bugs start crawling under the screen and they're like eating the icons and shit. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, like, and like I had like I scrolled it and like it went back to normal. And I was like, what the hell? And then like it happened again. And fucking like I let it finish. Like the bugs ate up the whole wallpaper and then like behind it and said. Porn owns your computer. <laughs> oh my god! And I was like, "Holy fuck!" Like this thing, this thing, like put a whole screensaver on my shit. Uh, some bugs 
Eat they got you, paper. man. That was the craziest shit. Like, I was like, all right, never again. Because, like, my mom is about to murder me when she gets home. Oh, yeah. my gosh. How did you fix it? I don't think I did. Oh, how? I think no. I told, I think I said, I think I said, like, I had, I was downloading music off a of LimeWire. Sure. And that's, I'm pretty sure that's what I use as my excuse. Porn owns your computer. Gotcha. Well, I got the vibe, or I got the wallpaper to go away. But like it still like had a virus on it, like obviously. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so I was just like, yeah, I was downloading mu- music off of LimeWire. Shit. Yeah, She's man, like, oh, I, okay. I I did the same thing on my uh, family computer, and I was like, yeah, this is gonna be nice. <laughs> yeah. And then I fucking after like I went like I logged back onto the like, the main page, like you were saying, but it wasn't like bugs eating <laughs> shit. It was like pop ups, bro. Like fucking tabs of porn opening up just like popping up on my shit like it was like a pop-up like like, spam fucking (laughs) virus and i was like what the fuck like naked chicks would just pop up and like i was like why stop it (laughs) and then like i I was with my friend you know and we're like flipping out we're like what the fuck we're like oh no i was like my mom's gonna kill me (laughs) <laughs> and then uh like we were just like i was like, i'll pray and i was like god please <laughs> god please oh, i'll man never, got religious real quick I'll, I'll never look at porn again if you just <laughs> do this Mike's like sir please and um a miracle <laughs> happened that night it fixed it wow. praying worked don't ever say yeah. it doesn't because yeah, it man. did there you go Testimony. and i never watched porn after yeah. that again God loves you, Mike. Keep that ever, in mind. Keep, ever again. Keep that in mind. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Fucking a. He hear, He's he's a miracle, yeah, man, bro. Yeah, he's wow. he, he hears all things. He's yeah. like, I got you, fam. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, they don't call him omnipotent <laughs> for anything. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, but he saved my ass that day. Yeah, he works in mysterious ways. Yeah, so did that girl that I watched. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> wow. I sure hope. All right, so not. now that we talked about what we wanted to talk about, <laughs> but real, okay. real talk, real back, back to what we were just talking about: money and blowing it on shit. I think some people have so much money they just don't know what to do with. Like they just spend it on shit. They they make it back right away so they're just like oh i'm gonna spend money on this but i i i see that like i understand like paying for someone to roll your blunts because when your time is money especially when you're like a millionaire or even a billionaire like time is money so you're gonna pay people to clean your house and do all this shit that you don't have time to do you don't want to do shit like that so i could see you know paying someone to roll your blunts but just paying for like a bazooka blunt well, I mean, that would was be the, cool at a party, but whatever. That was the case. <laughs> if that was the case, I would just pay to have a sh- machine created that would roll my blunts. A robot, AI. Ex Machina. Have you guys seen it? No. But what I was going to say. Wow. Is that some people, they just have a ton of money. And they have the opportunity to spend it. So they just spend it. If you have spending money, spend that shit. <clears throat> well, and this is the thing about people who make a lot of money. They don't save it. They invest it and they spend it. They just, they don't, they don't have savings accounts. They have fucking condos and shit that they rent. Fucking 10 hundred units or some shit. <laughs> but yeah, I can't even hear you. Muted, Your shit's muted. Okay, interrupt this program all right um but before we started you said you had something you wanted. actually i wanted to talk about that let but me, i do want to talk me, about something else let me bring something up go for it let me bring something up something very important happened this uh-huh. week something monumental if you will happen this week so i think you know this is, is it the, about the, the results of a months-long campaign to, to correct an injustice. 
I already know where you're done, going. That had been done to this country, to the <sighs> citizens of this country, to the to to the fucking world. I already know where you're going with this. This is so funny. Hot lays a fucking back, baby, and we oh. did it. Maybe I don't we know where it. you're going. We did it. Fucking hot <laughs> lays back. back. Fucking, they took the cheese out. They cut the cheese, and like the all all is right in the world again. Wars are ending. Fucking COVID's over. It's, it's a beautiful time to be alive. Like yeah. I'm so, I was so excited. I was so excited. Like I I found out because I was on fucking uh, Facebook and I was looking at somebody's story and like they had that shit up there and I was like, all right, what is this? And then I looked at it and like the homie was like, they're back without cheese. And I was like, what the fuck? Hell no. And I left, went to go to the fucking 7-Eleven. I was like, where they at? Where they at? <laughs> and like, I couldn't find none of like the little one person bags and shit. So I was, I went to where they have the big bags and they had two left. And I was like, give me this shit. And like right up on the corner, it said the, the fucking the flaming hot you love is back. And I was like, yeah, it fucking better be, motherfuckers. Y'all didn't even tell us about this cheese shit. I just slipped it in there on us. Fucking uh, like they didn't, they made no announcements. There wasn't a tweet sent out. Yeah. None of that. <laughs> fucking, but they made a big deal because they knew people was pissed. And then so you made, and then you flipped the bag over and it said, I work in mysterious ways. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that, know, was, he's a miracle. that was uh, <laughs> that was that was the highlight of my week. I or maybe what if what if this this is a crazy Mandela effect theory? Fucking crazy. What if one universe it's always was the cheesy shit, and then I if one was the fucking the I swear good, if they're good. trying to pull that shit, like what cheese? I don't know. <laughs> You're talking about cheese and lays. And then we had cheesy flaming hot, bro. Dude, I have we I have that documented, well documented. <laughs> that shit's you're gonna my go family. back and like everything's changed. Like, I still got a bag of them shits upstairs because we never touched them because they're well, fucking disgusting. Well, go check out the <laughs> label and make sure that it's not just flaming hot. They're gonna be like, oh, it's just flaming hot. What the fuck? Uh, there's a fucking block of cheese on that fucking picture, and it's disgusting. Block of cheese. Okay. Anyways, you know fucking, uh, cool? where did you think I was going with it? I thought you were talking about the nuggets. Oh, well, that, that that's was dope pretty. Too. That's pretty. I found amazing. Out that I'm, I found out that I'm. <laughs> I found out that I'm in the minority of the people that were excited about Tim Connolly moving on. I just don't agree with a lot of the things that he's done with the team in his tenure as the GM. I don't agree with some of the players he's let walk, some of the players he's signed, like fucking some of the drafted decisions. Like, I don't know. I was pretty lukewarm on him. And so when I saw the news that he's leaving, I was like, fuck yeah, man. I'm been tired of his ass. Well, just the well, they need to just, yeah, like they just need to do more things. Ain't no way a motherfucker's winning MVP two years in a row and we're not even making it fucking to the finals. Like, come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. <laughs> yeah, we never I even s- make it out of the first round, bro. Yeah, dude, like, we, we haven't seen the finals since I was like fucking a wee lad. I and then we the still final. fucked it. We still fucked it. Who who was it? The Aaron Western, Carter. The Western Conference. No, final. not Aaron Carter. Anthony Carter. Anthony Carter. Aaron Carter. Fuck that guy too. Yeah. I remember we had a homie back in the day who was like, mom like worked at some somewhere and like he wasn't a big sports fan. This homie, and I remember he called me one day and he was like, hey, like my mom's at work today and like one of the Nuggets players came in like and he gave her like a, a pair of signed shoes. Like, you think they're worth anything? I was like, well, who was it? He was like, I don't know. Let me look at the shoes. And he was like, uh, looks like it says Anthony Carter. And I was like, oh no, they're not worth anything. I was like, someone. I was like, you could probably pay somebody to burn those for you. But oh, like, I don't know. That's about it. Like, that's not. Those are not worth anything. I wonder where he's at right now. Fucking, I don't know. Man. I wonder if he invested his money like a smart man, or if he's broke. I hope. I hope, like, he's he, I hope he he's saved like seventy percent of the other athletes that just I hope blow their shit because he's never getting hired as a coach or anything. <laughs> so I hope he saved. This is how you fuck it up. Two nights in a row. 
Oh my god. Like two with the same mistake both nights. I'm gonna let me chill. Yeah, we have to stop talking chill. about it because I'm gonna have flashbacks tonight. Pull it with the negativity, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up in cold sweats. Again, not flashbacks. <laughs> that was probably the most traumatic playoff. Dude, it's ha- it's hard oh, being a Nuggets fan, man. Yeah. We oh we have so <laughs> much talent a, all the time. And hard then, being a Colorado sports fan in general. Like, Jesus, like, like I'm not a Broncos fan, but I like all the other Colorado teams. Well, look at the Avalanche. And, like, the Avalanche, the Avs might do it this year. They fucking choked tonight. Fucking, they were up. <laughs> they were up three to zero, and fucking choked that shit. And then in the last like in like the last three minutes of the third period, we came back and got another goal. Went up four three. With like two minutes left, and they fucking sat back and like played defensive, didn't do shit the whole like last few minutes. Boom, tied it up. Going to OT, fucking same shit. They like didn't even push like at all. Like they just sat back and tried to defend for some reason. Boom, goal, loss. Now it goes to game six back in St. Louis. And like if we don't win there, come back here for game seven. But I, like we need to win game six because I don't want the shit to get tied up again. Dude, yeah. That'd be embarrassing because we're up three to one right now. If they come back and tie that shit three three and then fucking win, yeah, that'd be I mean, so it's embarrassing. Just, like how bad do you want it? Like this is you our fucking bad, like this is our it. year too, dude. Like the abs are like the best team in the fucking league right now. Like well, there's like once we get past St. Louis, there's nobody I'm fucking afraid of. Well, like, and but fucking St. Louis just has fucking Ryan O'Reilly and shit. And he just fucking like, he knows, he knows us. He used to be us. And now he's their fucking captain. Like, I'm like, fuck that. He's sloppy seconds. How you, how, how does sloppy seconds taste St. Louis? Like fucking, <laughs> uh, it'll be so sweet to just move past this round and leave St. Louis and Ryan O'Reilly in the rear view. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing. It'd yeah. be even nicer. I'm actually now that it's going to St. Louis, like if we close it out at their place, like that would be pretty nice too. But oh yeah. Yeah. Fucking. I think our 95 team was like one of the best teams ever in hockey ever in history. That's another thing, man. Joe Sackick is the fucking GM and shit. Like he put a fucking team together, bro. Well, and like I'll just say that, like, I know it might be my biased opinion, but I think Avalanche has is the best hockey fucking team ever. Like as far as like if you put all their greats together or like just even that year, I think it smashes any other year of any other team. I don't really know. <laughs> old, like I don't really know. Like because I remember the hype of back Patrick in those Wall, days. But I never, all those. I never really watched back then. I just remember the hype, like and getting like I getting hyped up for the fucking like Stanley cups and shit. Like I remember that you're the best but, uh, team ever. I only really started watching hockey for real, for real. Like in this last few years, like it was like before I was just like, like hockey, that's, that's that white shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that's what the white people, I remember, do. I remember, uh, the <laughs> abs, the, the abs, they had a, they had a black dude on their team. Like, back in the day like in high school and shit and i was like all right let me let me check out this hockey shit and then like uh yeah ever since then but uh yeah it's pretty fucking it's the only sport where just bare knuckle fighting is fucking just not only allowed but like encouraged well and no just not not their not their correction not their 19 uh not the 86 not the 96 team but their 2000 team i think that's the year i don't know i'm i don't know as well but they had everyone they had Rawa, everyone like that's who i'm talking about look up that yeah, everyone roster names one person look up the roster i know who was I, on the everyone. roster what the fuck name more than one person no <laughs> no no joe shit. sackick there's um there's peter forsberg there's Dude, there's everyone. The bench players. Joe. I said Joe. You did? Yeah, Joe Sackick. He was one of the best hitters. I remember I used to play the, the old N8. One of the best hitters. <laughs> He's one of the best healers, man. Healers, he bro. He would he heal fucking, people. He, he'll fuck you up with mercy. 
<laughs> uh, but yeah, that team <laughs> is the best, without a doubt. I don't really know. I don't know old school hockey like that. I can. <laughs> I used to get down more than I used to get down with hockey more than I got down with like any other sport when I was younger, just because I wanted to play hockey. I really only ever got down with basketball. Basketball now is my. I remember, favorite I sport. like wanted to play hockey back in the day, but then like I found out how expensive it is and shit. Like, Dude, it's buy, so much. You gotta buy all that equipment and shit. Like fucking hell, bro. And then you got to pay for the dental bill when your teeth get knocked out. Yeah, but I, I remember I seen this <laughs> uh, interview with this hockey player. I forget what his Bro, name was. Concussions. Like, his, fuck whole, all that. his whole front shit was fakes. Like he, he could take him out and shit because he got hit in the face with a puck one time, knocked his whole shits out. I was like, God damn, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. And like them motherfuckers be playing out on the ice full speed, like and they they got like a little windshield as their fucking helmet and shit. Hell no, I'd be fucking, I'd have the full face mask like the kids do, because there's no way I'm taking a puck to the face. That shit's going like faster than an MLB pitch, bro. Like hell no, dude. Yeah, that Mm-mm. will fucking Mm-mm. murder you. <laughs> Couldn't be me. I remember the first mask. time I remember the first time I held the hockey puck and I was like, what the fuck? Like you yeah, could, you could, you could throw that at someone fuck. and just murder somebody. For real, dude. That shit is solid. <laughs> that shit'll fuck you up. You just throw it. Just chuck it at someone, they're yeah. dead. Yeah. Just like, what's yes. up, fool? Ouch. Yeah, you dude. could kill you could kill two birds with one ho- hockey puck. For sure. You could, you could oh, kill a couple. Man. <clears throat> Wild. Uh, I think my favorite sport is probably fucking football or soccer. But football. hockey's hockey's up there too. Like I, oh, I'd I rather, love hockey. I honestly rather basketball's watch basketball's my favorite sport. I was just gonna say I'd rather, honestly rather watch hockey than NBA at this point. Like because I'm just so done. Well, I I, I, I I totally get it because it's going so done. This whole the Nuggets. Well, it's not just the Nuggets. It's like the whole league. It's like, like it just, for example, they don't even acknowledge the Nuggets half the time or anyone that's not a super team or the Lakers. And it's like, come on, that's bro. True. Like that's, that's, it's like a whole fucking popularity contest. Like, yeah. On EA. Well, I mean, that's EA what it sports, is. Man, whoever's got the best players is going to get the attention. The only fucking players we got are, Jokic and Murray. Dude, the, the Lakers suck ass, and they'll still Murray's be talked freaking, about. Well, they have LeBron time. James, man. Fucking like, no matter what, whatever team LeBron James is on is going to command attention. Who do you think the goat is? Michael. Yeah. And I'll I say agree it again. You. I agree. Kobe with you. is better than LeBron. Boom. Nail in the I don't coffin. Agree with that. Hate me. But, but. Better than LeBron. I saw this argument. More on rings. Instagram. They're fucking. Stayed with one team. Carried the team on his back Kobe's for all those fucking rings. championships. Kobe's oh, got five. I saw this uh, uh but uh, I saw this argument on Instagram. And uh he was basically talking about like Michael versus LeBron. And he was like, Okay, you go to a, a girl's house ten yeah, times. I seen that smash four times. Uh, the other guy goes to the girl's house six times, smashes all six times. Who's the goat? Yeah, dude. Yeah. MJ. MJ. He uh, also wasn't like a whiny. He wasn't whiny all the time. And throwing temper tantrums and walking out just, on his team in the playoffs. He had fucking he had money on the game. No excuses. <laughs> uh, that that says it all right there. I mean, I guess. Him quitting Look on no his team with like Space two minutes Jam left is, is says it all. Look no further than the Space Jam movies. Which one <laughs> would you rather watch on repeat for the next year? Well, I've never seen, seen the, the new one, one so yet. it's not happening at either. So <coughs> that, that tells that. you where my stance is. I'm barely honestly. I, that's that's I two hours of my life agree. I'll never get back. I, if I, I watch, we can it. all agree. Sports movies are the best kind of movies. And in that upper echelon, 
Sandlot, therefore, is the best movie of all time. Whoa. Both so, dude. <laughs> in that upper echelon. I'm done with I'm you putting, in the Sandlot I'm conversation. Putting Space Jam, like, probably, like, second. <laughs> Space Jam's the second best movie of all time. Space Sandlot, Jam's better one. than Sandlot. You're saying fucking it right I fucking you're, now. You don't even know what you're saying. Yeah. Right Space now. Jam is better I'm than not gonna Sandlot. Hear it. I'm not going to fucking hear it. All right. <laughs> That's just a wild, incorrect statement that <laughs> it I'm is going to be on better. I can make a whole damn video yeah, explaining crazy. why and how. Because it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> so you got like, your bugs, bunnies. <laughs> You got no your Lola way. bunnies. We got your monsters. No, nah, I don't give a fuck. You got your Daffy Duck. You got, you got your beasts. You got your Converse in the fucking Sandlot. You got fucking your Killing Me Smalls. The you got were forever. higher. You got, James you got Jones? snores. No, I'm just I don't want to hear it. All right? I don't want to hear it. James Earl Jones. He, picked, he, picked, he pickled the fucking beast, bro. And he won. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, okay. bad. James Earl Jones, blind ass, dispensing knowledge there at the end. I'm oh, I don't know. That amusement park that scene. Darth Vader in that motherfucker. <laughs> teaching kiddies life lessons. I don't want to hear it. Oh, that Mufasa. <clears throat> Mufasa out there fucking just teaching. No that fuck way. Gun. That's funny. <laughs> and, uh, that tobacco amusement park scene. I guess I'm just yeah, dude. incorrect on a lot of shit. I love that scene so much. Yeah. I'll just I go back. Thought, to- when I was a kid and I seen that when I uh I first seen that scene, I always thought it was beef jerky that they were eating. Me I too. Like, I was like, like, what? In Sandlot, when they eat the chewing tobacco and they go oh. on the ride and they all start puking and shit. I always thought when I was a kid, I thought that was beef jerky in there. Yo, it looked like to you me. ever, I was you like, ever have I was jerky like, chew? That? I was like, why is that beef jerky making them? You ever try beef? jerky chew? Yeah. That shit is bomb. Yeah, that shit was good. Dude, I, I remember. This, maybe that is what that was, but fucking jerky they, chew. I don't know why they would get all sick. No, that, that, they, that shit was they the, had actual tobacco. Yeah, they had actual like tobacco. It, it just looked like beef jerky to me. So I was like, why is that making Dude, them sick? Dude, I remember when that. Out, like, oh, that's chewing tobacco. I remember when that shit hit like a plague at my middle school, Becky, bro. man. All the Becky. pros do it. <laughs> yeah, dude, that shit hit like a plague at my middle school, and everyone was like, oh, go fucking chewing tobacco. Let's fuck go. Yeah, and I then I was like, never... uh, miss me with that shit. That's yeah, when I realized I, I was hanging out with the wrong people. Yeah, I, like, I don't, uh, I've never uh, even tried it, bro. Because, like, I remember... I, I, remember, going over I remember when I worked at I remember when I worked at the bowling school. alleys, dude. Or when I worked at that bowling alley. <laughs> there was this little Ethiopian dude that would come in like every day and just drink like after he got off of work. And like his name was Gus. And like we all like he was the homie, like he was like he was funny as hell, man. He'd always like he was like old too, like like in his sixties and like little skinny dude. And he'd like go and like flirt with all like the the girls that were there and shit. It was he was he was a G, but like I was talking to him one time and like we seen someone chewing and like we we're out there smoking. He was like, "Oh, have you ever?" He was like, "Have you ever tried to chewing tobacco?" I was like, "Nah, I don't I don't think I'd like it." And he was like, "Oh yeah," he's like, "I tried it one time. I took like just a little." And I was like, "Ah!" And fucking, <laughs> <laughs> and fucking like ever since then, like I think of that when I see chewing tobacco, and I'm like, nah. You've never ah! tried it's it. It's gonna make, huh? You've never tried it. No, I've tried it. It's whack as fuck. Um, I remember, dude. The, uh, yeah, that shit was just everywhere. And what's fucked up is that they like the people at my school would just spit it any- everywhere. They wouldn't even have a the sense to have a bottle. They would just spit it on the floor and the vents. Fucking vents, yeah, yeah, dude. Animals, yeah. Vents? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, you fucking gross. Like, this is disgusting. And they would the just holes, spit it everywhere. The halls are running rampant with your spit. They wouldn't even have a jug for it, like a fucking civilized dude, I chewer. This, I remember this kid <laughs> that I went to high school with. He would chew, like he would put it in in class. And I remember one time he he put it in and he forgot he didn't have a bottle. And he was just fucking swallowing that shit. Like, he was just uh-huh. taking it to the head. I was like, you're wild, bro. You're, you're wild, wild as fuck. 
Like that was the most fucking redneck <laughs> oh shit I ever God. seen in my life. <laughs> Damn, like, dude, he wins the award right there. Yeah, he for real. Like, like he won it. Like, he's like a Joe freaking camp. But bro, um, I was like, I hope that shit sterilizes you. Well, like, and that's the you thing because sh- <laughs> you shouldn't be procreating. Fucking. Uh, and it was always I, like the 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 jockey preppy kids that would be chewing that shit. Fucking. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck? At my school, at least. I'm like, no respect. Okay. No respect. <laughs> and yeah, that shit tastes like more ass. Recently, if you recently, chew, if you're watching fucking, this, uh, it tastes like ass. I stand yeah. with my comment. Um, but at my last job, like the, the door company job, there was this dude that started like a little bit after I had started there. And like he chewed. And... uh. We shared the same, like, me and him shared a truck, like, fucking, so, like, he would have it some days, and I would have it some days, and, uh, uh, a work truck, I mean, and I remember, like, there was, like, a week stretch where, like, I would get in the truck the next day, and it was, like, during winter, where I'd get in and look in the cup holder, and there's just a fucking frozen bottle full of spit, like, from him oh. chewing and shit the previous day, and I was, like, the first time I didn't know what the fuck it was. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? So I just threw it away. And then like I saw it the next day. And then like the next day, like I came and get the truck. I was like, I was like, what is this this motherfucker spit? You just <laughs> leave it in here and shit. And, yeah, I, they don't, and then I was they don't I told him fuck. something. I was like, dude, that's nasty as fuck. Like, what the hell? Throw your bottle away, you fucking sick ass. Yeah. Fucking wild. I remember like, dude, yeah. What what is with chewers like taking shit to the extreme like what you were just saying like swallowing that shit I remember there's people who would literally bite their lip so it would start bleeding yeah and like and then fucking well, be like this is the well, shit it, it does that shit anyways like it has it has fiberglass in it and it cuts you and it gets into your fucking bloodstream that's how it gets you the buzz but yeah it's not enough for some people they have to Gross. bite their yeah. lip open yeah. And throw that shit in there. That's what. Like, that's fucking that's, savage. That's how and you know now, you're like you might be a, a redneck. You now, might be a redneck. You might not have a jaw. You might not have a jaw now if you do that. Yeah, you might fucking throat cancer, all that shit. If you, if you gum cancer, bit, you're done. If you're you done. Ever bit your lip so that your fucking dip <laughs> could get into your shit. You might be a redneck. If your lawnmower has a hemi. You might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, Have you ever chewed, Devin? I don't know. Uh, has, don't has so. it, is it a plague in your school? Do you see no. kids that are like consumed by it? Dude, yeah, that know. shit hit like it's a fucking a... wildfire at my school. Everyone was doing it. I'm like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Uh, that bullshit. Yeah, face me with it. Uh, and then I was—I thought bullshit. it was a phase. I was so wrong. It's not a phase. Uh, they did it. They, they, still, did it. they still yeah, do. Yeah, dude. It. There's people who, from my high school who still do it. I know for a fact. Well, they, I started they, smoking they, cigarettes in high school, and I still smoke well, cigarettes. I, they're probably just as addicting. I as feel like cigarettes. they're. I feel like they're more addicted to, or more addicting than cigarettes. True is, I mean, it like, could be. You don't see motherfuckers that smoke cigarettes biting themselves to fucking make them. Oh. <sighs> Like, I don't even know what the fuck you would do. They, like, they in, smoke in butts, cigarettes. though. Remember, I remember the days of just smoking butts. Like, being like, oh, there's a little shit. Oh, I threw well, this yeah. out with but the little not, shit left. But, that, I'm but that's not it. making yourself bleed to fucking, like, further the enjoyment of a cigarette. That's, like, that's still pretty bad. I look at next, that now, and I'm like. That's next level shit. Some people flick the roach to the dog, and the dog eats it. Yeah. That was a blunt, not a cigarette. And shut the fuck up. Blunt. It was over a decade ago. <laughs> Get over it at some point. A little bit of a scare, man. A little bit of a scare. Oh, just I because, just because I Googled. If I had a Googled, I should have just fucking oh, I not know. said anything. He would have been fine. You're like, he could well, die. Like, dude. All right. Die. No, dude. Not gonna, we're not going to tell this story. CJ's we'll dog ate like fucking three hash brownies and he's all right. <laughs> That's that has chocolate but, like, in that it. That was a, but that was a, that's a grown dog. That we're talking no, about, uh, the little you know, dog. Oh yeah, no, we're, it was we're the talking big about dog. we're talking about a puppy, like a weeks old puppy. Yeah. 
Yeah. He was just wow. sitting there like, all right, we'll tell the fucking story. You're, right? you're horrible. All right. All right. You're horrible. All right. Remember that so story? Here, well, that story we're definitely not telling. So don't even try. <laughs> you can't. Uh, yeah, we, we can't. can't. Like, it's so dark. It's so Yeah. Allegedly, horrible. we allegedly did some of these things. Uh, so. <laughs> You tell your side, then I'll tell my side. Day, I didn't do any of these. Have a side. Yes, I do. Fuck it's it. my dog, guy. Yeah, but you weren't even there. The fuck? Anyways. But I'm going to just right. did, go. Did he die? No. No, he didn't die. He was fine. He's alive and well. He's fine. And nowadays, they're fucking, I like See? to say, they're just blowing smoke in this dog's face now. So fucking. Hey! Um, Relax on that, buddy. Anyways, yeah, with your double standards. Anyways, <laughs> so back in the day, there was back when I lived with my mom and them. Like, I think it was like just out of high school, like the year right after high school, maybe. But uh, Devin had been asking like for the longest time, like, "Oh, I want a dog. I want a dog. I want a dog." My mom. Finally gets this kid a fucking dog for Christmas or his birthday or some shit. And like they like so and like he keep in mind he's only had his dog like a couple days at this point. So I remember they go out to eat or something like Devin, my other siblings, my mom, and like they go out to eat and I stayed home. How old was and, he at the time? Who? Devin? Devin, yeah. How old were you? This is like like fifth grade. Yeah, well, fourth something grade. like that. He was young. He was super young. I was just saying, like, it was at the time but, uh, we were, like, always mobbing there. Yeah, but, fucking. Uh, uh, so somebody else on this podcast, not, that is not here currently, but it's, like, <laughs> a, a normal, a normal <laughs> member uh, who shall remain nameless, uh, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly came, came, up, came through. <laughs> <laughs> we rolled a blunt and like we like we have this big terrace on the back of like on the second floor of their house so we went up there and we were just smoking a joint or we're smoking a blunt and every other time before we had a fucking dog after i was done smoking the blunt i would just flick the roach into the rocks that's like below the terrace and shit <laughs> and like that's it that's all that 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 was the end. End of story. End of story forever. <laughs> yeah, but this time I forget we have a little shit now. And I flick <laughs> it thinking nothing of it. And then I just hear like rrr, 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 and I was like, oh, shit. And like I go and I look over the edge and I see him like the dog like just like sniffing around and shit. Like I didn't see him like it's like that's some good shit. Yeah, he, he was just sniffing around and shit, but he must have <laughs> Turns out he fucking ate the roach and like fucking like later on, like I'm just chilling, vibing, smoking. Vibing. Uh, the other person had left at this point. Well, because you're already uh, doed. You're like, yeah, vibing like, out. they left at this point. And I was just chilling in my room, just chilling. And then I just I hear like all this commotion going on and I come upstairs and like Devin's distraught. My mom's cr- going crazy. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And then like, I see the dog, and then, like it's just a little puppy, just fucking fucked up, like just like stumbling <laughs> and shit, like tripping over itself. And like I was like, what the fuck? I was like, damn. I was like, damn. I was like, he allegedly ate the roach <laughs> that I flicked. And I was like, fuck. But I had heard stories. I hear. I was like, I hear stories of dogs eating weed all the time. I'm like, they're fine. Yeah, they just but, get a little dope. But my mind, I was like, he's a little puppy, like not even a month old. Like, uh, so like I Googled and it, like I saw this thing, like, oh, it's not that serious, like da, 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 da. But the very last line, it was like, deaths happen rarely. And I was like, well, with my luck, this dog's gonna fucking die. Like so, oh my god! I, so I was on like, your conscious all yeah, like dude. So life. I was like, I gotta tell my mom. I was like, hey, I'm not saying this is what it is, but I did flick a roach and I saw him squeaking around there, and <laughs> he might have ate it. And then I showed her the thing, and she was like, "Son of a bitch!" <laughs> so she takes the dog to the fucking vet, whoop your tells, ass, tells him what happened, and uh. And then, like, they charge her, like, 200 bucks for some medicine that, like, oh soaks it up God. and shit. 
and uh, opposed, supposedly they robbery. Like, they, supposedly they didn't even want to give the dog back to my mom because they thought we were just there fucking feeding him weed. And that's for, back when it was yeah. a big deal. Yeah, and that was back even before have like it was really a, a, like a roach killing. Yeah, like <laughs> like you were getting locked up for years for having a roach. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> so yeah, that was a ridiculous, ridiculous offense. Oh man, dude, that was like it was man, crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Allegedly, allegedly, they they robbed you. That that's that's what that was. Highway robbery. That was you got yeah. robbed. Weez was, uh, was robbed. Ridiculous. It was terrifying for me because <clears throat> I thought I did it because he had gotten we were eating bugles the night before and he got a bugle chip and ate it. And my mind went to that. I'm like, no, no, that, Fuck. Was, that was it, dude. That was the thing. Like, yeah, I, I, should, I, did, I didn't even I didn't know about that. Like, I should have been the I, like, well, <laughs> well, maybe if somebody wasn't feeding the bugles. <laughs> and like I even told like my little brother like, cry and shit. I think I it was. I think it's because he ate a bugle. She's like, "What?" <laughs> and I'm like, "I think he ate a bugle <laughs> when we were eating them upstairs, and he might be sick from that." And she's just like, "Devin, it's fine. Let's just get him to the vet." And like this whole time, I'm like, "My dog might die because I fed him a bugle chip." And I'm just over here, just sitting there thinking, like, if this dog dies, it's on my hands. His blood is on my hands. And your brother's at the same time thinking the same exactly. Yeah, for a totally different reason. <laughs> and then when we get when we got to the vet. So you're both mom, freaking out in your own little worlds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Realities. Mom was like, I'm gonna need you to wait outside. Oh and I'm like, love. fuck. I'm like, they're gonna tell her that they that he needs to be put down. Cause oh like my of a bugle. God. Mom made a huge deal about like this dog can't have any f- human food, like don't feed him nothing except the freaking kibble that he was eating. That and time. you're like, fuck you, mom. And then you <laughs> throw him a bugle. And now this motherfucker like, eats f- human food all the time, just waiting underneath the table, yeah. watching smokes, it. A smokes blunts. Yeah, he's, the, he's a trooper. <laughs> he's the family blunt roller. <laughs> Honestly, if I had seen, if I like had known about weed back then and like how it's just like you know just give him a snack he'll be fine but give him a snack give him more bugles that's the answer more bugles eight or nine or something when this happened but still like if i was my age back then i'd be like just give him a snack he'll be fine dude i don't know just the fact that he was a puppy such like such new of a puppy that i probably would still take it to the vet like if he was if he was him if buddy was now like right now ain't some lean i'd be like i was like he's not even gonna fucking feel that like just give him some turkey. <laughs> yeah. In some a turkey. lot of ways, having a puppy is some like turkey. having a kid. Some turkey, yeah. Like I flip out yeah, all yeah, the time with I'm... my kid. I'm like, what's in your mouth? Fucking yeah. what's, in your, <laughs> what's mouth? in your mouth? And then you you pull out the freaking King Kong T Rex move, you're like, <laughs> Oh, he flips out if I do that. I I I I I'm getting real good at being a dad now. I just want to say this. I'm getting real good. <laughs> nice. I'm learning how to maneuver and get shit out of his mouth which is a whole thing so i have to like lay him down on his back and then i like start to play with him a little he starts to get happy and then i just real quick (laughs) you got way more for this i remember i used to try to pry his mouth open and he's like i remember my mom like fucking uh because like i used to have to do it for david and my other little it works every time i'm I'm like charm i'm I'm getting good 11 years older than them I remember my, like, fucking my mom, when I first seen her do this, like, whenever one of them would have something in their mouth, like, and she didn't know what it was, like, it was no coercing. She would just shove a finger right in the mouth, hook it, scoop that shit out. And I was like, all right, that's how you do that. Like, and I'm like, <laughs> hook it out of there. No well, I do, I, I do hook it, but he has a tight, like, grip on that He's mouth that being closed. Uh... Yeah, push, he's like, he'll push. he'll lock jaw. He'll he'll Hook fucking he'll pit bull down on that shit, and you ain't prying his mouth open for nothing. <laughs> so I have to like be like, oh okay, what's going on? What's yeah, gotcha. <laughs> One of my earliest my, memories of that. I'm getting good. That's what I'm like, saying. I'm getting good at being a dad, dude. I'm fucking killing it. He's just. I am killing it as a father. I just have a, just have a fucking vision in my head. You're just like. <laughs> 
and fucking like he just <laughs> it's like slow motion. My earliest memory but, uh, of getting like like mom grabbing something out of my mouth was when I don't know whose house we were at, but there was like this desk with some pills on it, and I thought they were M and M's. And I just like put it in my mouth, and I was like, "Ugh, this is nasty." And then mom saw me, and she's like, "Devin Michael," and she sprints over there. She like grabs me by my throat, slams me against the wall, oh, shit. slaps me across my face, spits oh, in my face, no. rips that shit out, and it's like, "Yeah." And then throws me. I feel me on like the it was. I feel okay. I feel like it wasn't that dramatic. And then oh. proceeded to call me bitch, and then walked away. <laughs> I kicked, I kicked him in the ribs a few times for good measure. Fortunately, yeah, he's never got. Front teeth out. He's and never gotten anything. anything that's fucking really harmful to him. <laughs> Just some toilet paper. He's like a conehead <laughs> eating toilet paper and shit. I'm like, what are you doing? And but I work if with. If he had uh, a pill, uh, I would probably pull the same move. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get that pill out your mouth. <laughs> You're I'll throwing up right about now. I'll make them. Some throw of them, up. they bite the pencil tip off, and I'm like, spit it out. And one of them, every time, uh... they swallow the freaking pencil tip. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like I like just asked metal, you, like like the metal part, the lead. Wait, like. Like this end yeah. of the pencil, or like this the end of the end. pencil. They'll go and then bite the tip off, and then eat it. The graphite—it's well, like, not even lead no more. It's graphite. They'll go like this, uh, and then I'll be like, "Spit it out!" And they'll be like, "Uh-uh," and I'm like, "Spit it out!" And like, "Uh-uh," and I'm like, "Man, you're lucky. I'm in this position because yeah, those I kids be my st- kid. Those kids are gonna <laughs> stay remedial. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> and then they just swallow out. that shit. Eating paint chips. Shit, fucking it. It's no joke. Bro. Um, Literally but, uh, everything he'll put in his mouth. Everything. I gotta keep everything away from him that doesn't need to go in his mouth. <laughs> you know how hard that is? It's fucking hard. Well, there's little a little crumb, some bird shit on the stool. He'll That's get what to you it. signed up for, Mike, <laughs> for the next oh, 18 years. Shit, I love it. To keep shit out of his mouth. Yep, I love it. Yeah. What a trade for nothing. Cigarettes. Fucking it's it. probably the but best thing I've ever done in my before, life. Before, yeah, yeah, that's nice. But <laughs> <laughs> my greatest okay. accomplishment. Oh, uh, fucking. Yeah, cool. I so the next... lame, man. get the fuck over it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dad now. Look at me. I've got a kid and a wife. I'm so happy. Oh, I have a purpose in my life. What the fuck ever, bro? Like, <laughs> oh, I have a little human that depends on me. Shut the fuck up. Oh, man. that's yeah, fucking, fucking hilarious. Why don't you go get some bitches? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Why don't you shut the fuck up about your family? And get some bitches, bro. <laughs> uh, Why don't you stop worrying about oh, the yeah, food in no. your son's mouth? <laughs> start getting some bitches in your mouth, man. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was good times. That was hilarious. Yeah, that was great. Some uh bitches. but uh before uh, that was too much. Before but, um before we started, you said you had something about video games that you wanted to talk about. Oh, what yeah, way that? back. I was going to talk about, this is like a left fucking turn from everything we've been talking about, but I was going to talk about Crash Bandicoot or Spiral the Dragon. Pick one. Only can have one. Neither, to be quite frank with you. Oh, my Crash goodness. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot all the way. Yes, sir. Well, Crash Bandicoot, Pumbica. if I had to pick one. I mean, well, he's getting, I didn't really give a fuck about it game for a reason. Like Dude, Crash Bandicoot was my shit. I played all of them. I had. I I like the racing one the best, to be honest. But Nitro Circuit. Yeah, that was sick. Game. I didn't like, know I just, about. I, I, didn't really, either, though. I just was never a fan of like those. Just like run down a fucking hallway the whole game, spam, attack, jump on some shit, I'm over it. Like yeah, uh, just like pla- like platforming. Games like I'm just I was never really a big fan of it except for like way back in the day with like the first 
Super Mario's and shit. I was I love that. You never played but, like uh but Mega like Man or Metroid. Anything? Well, Me- Mega Man, yeah, like I like that. Mega Man, shit. <laughs> I got more into Mega Man when it became like Mega Man Legends and shit. Those are my favorite ones. Uh, but like like Metroid, like Castlevania. And Castlevania shit, like, was hard as fuck, dude. I couldn't play that as a kid. I was it was too hard for me. <coughs> I'd be like these bats. I can't whip them. What the fuck? <laughs> and they would just murder me. Yeah, like Get that murdered whole genre. By bats. I'm not a really big fan. Castlevania of. was like the Dark Souls of its generation. <laughs> fucking killed I, by bats. Like the the littlest thing would fuck me up. I always loved platformers. Like I love platformers. Yeah, I play the game Shit. blind the first time, and then I'd go back to the first level, master that level, get the quickest time I could, and then just continue doing that throughout the game. Yeah, for me in video games, I need like. If it's not a sports game, I need like a good story to draw me in, or like, like fucking something like that, like just to to keep me hard for the experience. Because like I don't know, just those like oh run run hit that box jump over that jump on there. All right, you did. Hardcore parkour. I'm over. Uh, you hear really, about that game? Oh. The only fucking one that I really like is for the phone. It's called Vector. And like it's like a, a parkour one. That one's pretty sick. Vector, the guy from uh, what the fuck's that show? Uh, um, Despicable so. Me. Absolutely not. Yep, Despicable. Oh me. my gosh! I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's such a meme. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, I was gonna talk about this game that I've never played, but I heard it's really good. It's near Automania. Automata. I have that game. No, Dude, I don't have it. Uh, the reason why I'm talking about that is because there's there's times in that game where it switches up from like RPG to like platform game or like platform shooter, and it's like I I just heard really great things about it. I need to play it. Some people, you know, what I never got into shit. Turn based um, RPGs. Oh, like. Pokemon. Like old school fucking Final Fantasy. Yeah, like your your turn to attack. Like I never got into it, dude. Well, I, th- I, I thought I had it, but the turn based shits were like my favorite game. Like Final dude. Fantasy Ten, bro. That was like that's like one of my favorite games. Of so all time. good. Like, so that good. Shit is so dope. And like the I'm like Knights patient. of the old, and, like the Knights of the old Republic games were pretty much turn based. Like kind of, like, yeah. Just, like, you had more it. control. I lo- okay. that's one of my favorite styles of games is is Knights of the Old Republic and like the first uh Dragon Age because it was like click based where you click and you attack but you also had like your special abilities you can hit at any moment and have a yeah. cooldown like th- I loved that shit I loved it like the yeah. the system more in Dragon Age the first origins is I love Final Fantasy X, bro. Like that, like that turn me shit, dude. And like all of the really the old Final Fantasy games. Final like Fantasy that, like, Seven. My shit, yeah, dude. Final dude, Fantasy Seven. I, I still I, haven't finished the fucking remake. I've but. never. The fucking remake is a completely different game than the first one. I well, yeah, it had to be like. Fuck I didn't think it was gonna be though. I thought it was just gonna be I like. I love it still. I, I haven't finished it, but it's fucking. I like. Well, it, and I've never beaten personally the seventh game by myself because I never owned it. But I remember my mom was dating some guy and he had it. And I was like fucking in love with this game. I was like, what? You can go to like the casino and like do all this crazy shit. And I, dude, I thought it was the craziest thing ever. Like I've ever experienced in gaming when I first played it, because I was like, it was like one of the first games that had two discs too, where you like, yeah get halfway through the story and you have to take out a fucking disc and put another one in because half the game's on each disc. I was like, are you fucking shitting me? Like, my mom was blown as a kid playing that shit. I was like, this is the coolest fucking game ever. And I was just walking around, like, just getting into random encounters and shit, and like, <laughs> not knowing anything about it. Like, and it, it was fucking awesome. That I shit always liked how, like, the physical, the physical world sort of interacted with the game world. Like with the two discs thing that you were saying. But oh yeah. There was one game, Sonic Three and Knuckles. 
they freaking did DLC before DLC was even a thing. They you got Sonic they pioneered 3 pioneered it pretty much um, and then you and then you put Sonic and Knuckles on top of that cartridge and you get Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And then you could take the Knuckles cartridge, put it on Sonic 2 and play Knuckles in Sonic 2. That shit yeah. was freaking crazy. That's pretty dope. That's yep. pretty dope. Can't figure out how to get this fucking thing off of here. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. How do you? Hmm. How to? But yeah, back to those games, man. I love them. Yeah. Final Fantasy X. Uh, yeah, dude. When I played it, like the graphics dude, at the time. Fucking blitz ball and shit. Dude, that was also graphics. one of the, that I was, was like, also one of the, the first fuck? games that had like it was the first Final Fantasy game that had voice acting too. That shit was cool. And I remember Dude, it's like a I love story. Really it was like an anime story. Before, yeah, like it was fucking I really dope. Knew, like what it was. I remember I got this fucking this game way back in like it was like one of the only things I had for my PS2 when I first got it. It like Final came Fantasy with the PS2, I think. Dope. But it was like a it was a de- it was a disc with like a bunch of different game demos on it. Like it had like ten different games demos, and Final Fantasy X was on there. And I remember like in it you get to play like the first arc, like the, like the first thirty minutes of the game or something. And like I would play that shit over and over and over again because I thought it was, it was so dope. I was like, holy shit, what is this game? You know, and like then like when I finally like it was probably like a couple like a year or two later, like the game had been out and like I finally found it like at a store and shit. I was only like maybe 10, like 11 or something. And I was just like, holy fuck, this is that game that I was like playing the demo like all the time and shit. So like I fucking like just like begged my mom for it. I was like, don't give me nothing for Christmas. Just give me this right now. Dude, that shit, yeah, that shit consumed <laughs> like, my life when I came, when I played it. That's such a good game. Sephiroth's I, that's the badass. first. That's the first game I got a strategy that's on the guide seventh for. One. That's back when you had a big oh, pamphlet strategy guide. I'm talking about ten. Oh yeah, yeah. I got the strategy guide. I got the strategy guide. guide. I was yeah, like, there's... this is so sick. I, I thought I had all unlimited power. I was like, unlimited power. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I would yeah, read that is... shit for hours. Just read it. If, yeah, if I, I couldn't like... play the game, I would just read it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like when you're okay. on your way home from Dude. the game store, you pop open the case, you take the little manual out, and you're like, Yeah, they don't even have manuals sure. no more. Yeah, I don't even get like... physical copies of Yeah, games I no download more. all my shit now. The only, the only reason I have a couple of physical games is because when I got my Xbox, they gave me in store credit, so I had to like. Just buy some games. Remember, remember when everyone was up in arms about that? Like, what the fuck? Physical uh, discs for life. Yeah. Well, that's because they said originally they weren't well, gonna they, let they you, saw the future. We just like, didn't see the future. We're like, no, dude, we don't want to see you, the future. If you're talking, if you're talking like <laughs> that was like I'm, when for me Blockbuster I'm was still com- around. <laughs> I'm a comic book collector, but I'm not. I don't really care about collecting <laughs> video games. So, like, but like for the people oh, if you're who a collector. Co- are collectors, like you got to have the physical copies. Yeah, I remember I'd I seen much this, rather have the physical. I seen I seen a YouTube video. This dude, he has every video game like ever released. Like, what? And like what? He has like like his, his top floor of his house is like entirely just like wall like the walls are covered in like fucking game boxes and shit like fucking it's crazy and like he was like he was like going through him he's like yeah this he's like yeah this is the entire north american 2013 lineup like every video game that came out in north america in 2013 like fucking he's like oh and here's the japan walls and like this is the japan room or whatever the fuck like i was like holy shit man like I remember, and we're not a... talking, and we're not talking just like every dope game. No, like we're talking Everyone. every single game. Like You're this motherfucker has like Barbie's even... Playhouse, oh! Barbie's Playhouse, like fucking, it's crazy. Like, and he was That's talking nuts, about like bro. some of like the like one of the Barbie games too. He was like, this one took me, it took me a long ass time to find this too, like to finally complete the year. It's rare. And yeah. like I was like, because it's like, so yeah. shit, it's rare. And I was like, yeah, pretty. Much. That's what I said. <laughs> He has Dora saves the snow it's, princess. Yeah, on, some like crazy shit. It's, bro, it's nuts. 
I'm going to tell you this story real quick about one. I had like a $300 game. Like if I still had it, it'd be like worth 300 bucks or something. I would have to Google it. But so this is back in Best Buy when they would have a big crate of games, just crate. Oh. And like, you just have to sort through them and like, be like, Oh, I'll, this game looks cool. They would just put a big barrel of fucking games that they didn't even look through. It was like comics in a sense, like it would like just a variety pack of comics. And you're just like, Oh, whatever's in this bin, I can get for five bucks or 10 bucks. But I found a Dragon Ball GT game for the PlayStation one. Never in my life have I ever seen this game ever anywhere besides the one I owned. And I was like, oh my God, like this is before GT was even a show like that. This was low key. Like this is like when it was just in Japan, like GT was probably just a thing in Japan because I've never heard of Dragon Ball GT and it had boo in it before he was even aired on TV. It had dude. I was like, what? I was like, who the fuck are these? It had like Pam. And I was like, who the fuck is all these people? But it was like, it was like a fighting game, like a, uh, like Mortal Kombat style. But with, yeah. with Dragon Ball Z sure. fighters, I lent it to my friend. He busted that shit in half. Oh, hell no. Don't lend that. your games to anyone. Never. I, uh, Don't do it. I I've a, even, I've even lended you games and we've, they're gone now. They're in the ether. And yeah, I've bro. probably done the same. It's just how it goes. It's like a lighter. It just goes. I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah. But I can, uh, <laughs> but. But it's I like a three hundred dollar game. I knew, a, I knew a kid when I was back, like that, like young back in the day, that had that game. And like I remember, I remember so I, he, told me about it like at school or some shit. And I was like, what? I was like, you can do what in this game? Like he was like, yeah, it's got like all the Dragon Balls characters, like fucking like you can fight and shit, like all this stuff. And I was like, bro, I was like, you gotta let me come over and play this shit. And, like, we, like, kept, like, trying to make it happen, make it happen. And, like, months probably, like, went by. And, like, mom finally let me go over there. But she was, like, only for, like, an hour. I'm coming to get you. Like, fucking, like, have them or go with them after school. I'm going to be there in an hour. And I'm, hmm. like, I'm, like, all right, we need to get to your house. Like, I need to get, uh... I need to play this. Like, hurry up. Like, fucking. And then, like, we, like a I, was, like, I was, like, damn, this. That's crazy. And then, like, that's the only time I ever played it. Like, uh, damn, it's but, it, it's a really good game. But for everyone, don't quote me on the exact price. It might not be that. But this is what it looked like. Boom. Mm, that's the cover, uh, dude. That shit. That game, uh, if you haven't played it low-key, underground, it's worth a lot. There's a... Think. Speaking <laughs> of games that, like... I I'm gonna look like it up the, right now. I felt like I was the only person to have this game. Like, fucking... Because I played it all the time back in the day on the PS1 days, and like no, but I never heard anybody else talking about it. But it was called Jedi Power Battles, and like it was like a fighting game with like all of the Jedi's in it. Like you fought with lightsabers and shit. It was so dope. But like I was like the only person that had it, and like no, like nobody ever knew about it that I talked to and shit. It was crazy. Um, actually, another one. There was this game called B Boy, and like Ooh. fucking that shit was sick as fuck too. Like fucking B Boy was the yeah, shit. Yeah, like you just did break dancing and shit. Like fucking like, and like battled people and whatnot. It was, it was like one of the just, buttons. Like you yeah. put the buttons and you do the moves. Yeah, it was dope as fuck. Like uh, it was for the PS2, and like you. Uh, Paul Rapper was like that too. Par. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, per Rapper to Rapper. Yeah. Yep, for the rapper. But uh, I was wrong about the price. It's only like sixty bucks. But what yeah, the fuck? NCAA fourteen worth more than that. <laughs> so, um, I guess I was wrong. I need to get me a copy, just so I can I actually, have it as a momentum. <laughs> I actually did keep a game one time from a friend. Uh, it was like on purpose. Horrible. Well, <laughs> it was like a week before school ended. I did worse. We had, been, we had been talking about him lending me this game. And I'm not going to say who it was or what the game was in fear of him actually finding this. Uh. But, uh, <laughs> but we finally get it settled. And I'm like, okay, you're going to give it to me Wednesday. I'll bring it to you Friday, the last day of school. 
And he's like, all right, bet. Sounds good. I get the game. I'm absolutely loving the game. Come Friday, I tell mom, <coughs> I'm sick. Nah. <laughs> I get to stay home and oh, no. never look back. Never look back. I still I have think that. I've done that. I think I've done that once or twice. Fucking, uh... Remember, I got a Blockbuster game and then I moved out of state. Kept it. I yeah, remember I've it done... was Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero. You yeah. ever played that game? Yeah. The one where it's like a turn-based. I did that with Knights of the Old Republic, dude. Not turn-based, what... but... I did I that with Pokemon I... Tournament. Side scroller. I like, lie awake at night thinking of those library fees. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, oh, bro. Dude, I remember they, when... Those ain't getting paid, I remember, dude. I remember I would go to a Blockbuster sometimes, and if I found a game that I like... Or, like, I got a game, and then, like, I really fucked with it. Like, I was like, oh, I'm keeping this. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm keeping this. I was like, we can... Because, like, that was back in the day where, like, they... Like before, because I remember towards the end of Blockbuster, like they did away with late fees. They were like, all right, no more late fees. Keep them as long as you want. You'll never get charged a late fee. I remember back then, like, I. And they were sinking. I, yeah, like I kept. The captain quite was a few going games. down with the boat. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> I, I kept quite a few games. But before uh, they, for late fees, like they would charge you up until like it got to the point, like it was like, you paid for the whole thing. Like you paid for a new copy. The, the whole whatever. game. Yeah. Like fucking. So I was just like, fuck it. Like, I'm just going to take it off the <laughs> chin for this one. If I got to get grounded for a week, I got to get grounded for a week, but I'm keeping <laughs> this game. Fucking. And, uh, oh, yeah. man. I'm pretty sure I did that with Knights of the Republic. And there's this other game called Harry Potter and the Quidditch World Cup where you played fucking Quidditch. Like that was the whole game. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm keeping this. Well, and you know, this is the big brain move that I used to do, and I only got wise to it towards the end of Blockbuster's life. But um, so I pretty much sucked the last life out of them with this move. But uh, so I used to put in one of your shitty games in the case and return it. Yes. Because yeah. I, 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 like, I would be like, why does my yeah. gun not work? And then this, this, this idea just came in my head. Go to Blockbuster and swap your shitty. Yeah, bro. One. <laughs> For the good copy, yeah. and I'm like, but, I want to, and it would be a game I already own, but I couldn't play because it, it would be all fucked up. Yeah, and I'm like, exactly. So I would go big brain move, and then I I did that for a while, and some I swear it's like I am because it's like as soon as I start doing that, they catch on, and then they start putting like start, labels. Yeah, they started putting their, the little <laughs> scanner, the bowl of barcode, and that's and shit. that was the last that was yeah. the last straw. They were on their last leg, and yeah. then Netflix came, massacred them. And then I remember they used to even have blockbuster boxes like Netflix. Yeah. They weren't able to keep Fuck up. Yeah. It was already by that yeah. point they already lost. Yeah. Like, you, well, did you know you already the, lost, bro? Did you know that the like, creators, the creators You're of murdered. Netflix, they're bankrupt creators, now. <laughs> Sorry, the creators of Netflix. <laughs> I got them speak. Fucking uh, no. <laughs> like towards the beginning and shit. Fucking like they offered like the CEO of Blockbuster. They were like, hey. We'll sell you this, like Netflix, this whole thing, this whole idea for fucking $2 million. It was low as fuck. And like Blockbuster dude was like, nah, that's not going to fucking catch on. Like people want to go to the video store. People want to go to the movies. Like it's, it was an experience. It really yeah, was. And fucking like, so you never experienced it. You and then up. like few, few, like 10 years later, boom. Now it's See, nothing the, that CEO now. jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. Well, hmm. dude, and that's going really? back to the experience. I don't know, probably not. Probably. It was an experience. Oh, if you've never been to a blockbuster, you're yeah, you've, like there's a part out, of your like, life that you like, like Friday night, you're missing like, out, dude. Going to blockbuster, Friday like, night? Yeah, oh, like fucking, the energy like, going, going there. Like, the time one of my favorite move, one of my favorite moves uh, was was like if you couldn't get a game or like you could only get one and like you like you had two that you wanted to get. You would hide and one. I know, yeah, you would hide yeah. one behind a shitty game uh -huh. just to fucking like save it. Like so, I like, think we I talked about this before on the that? pod we, too. Yeah, we probably I'll have. Check. That was just such a classic move. It's a and classic. Like, exactly. You gotta check. You gotta <laughs> big you, brain. If you if you do right? that trick and you went there and the game you wanted wasn't there, you check behind every. I did other that all one. the time. Like, I would like, always find like, some yeah, too. Yeah, you would find them too. You'd be like, "You motherfucker! You think you're slick? <laughs> you think you're slick? That's my shit." Oh man! But, I remember. But talk, 
like some of my earliest childhood memories are me looking at like video game covers and being like, "What's an Xbox?" And mom's like, "Don't worry about it." Yeah, don't Here's worry Tristan. about it. Yeah, <laughs> my mom would like she wouldn't let them play video games or nothing for the longest time. And I remember when you got a Switch when I when you told me you got a Switch, I was like, "Oh shit." I was like, that's cool. Like, fucking, like, you could finally, like, play some fucking games now. Mm-hmm. And, like, uh, or, like, yeah, like, a Wii U before that. I'm pretty sure you yeah. guys did. But, like, that was, like, all they had. I was like, man, like, I felt like, I feel like they're missing out. I was like, I feel like Devin's missing out. Like, he doesn't Here have, is. Like, 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 he can't. More games, not, like, please. Yeah, like, he's fucking, <laughs> like, he's just got, like, Mario and, like, Zelda and shit. Like, you don't got no fucking action. One of like, my, uh, and then like he finally, that's uh, that's what I remember. I was like, all right, however much money you put up for the PS4, I'll fucking match it. We'll go get it. So I just wanted this yeah. fucking dude to play some dope games. Yeah, finally. like it's fucking doing a hard. disservice. And then we fucking, <laughs> we finally went and got it. I was like, all right, you gotta get this fucking game, this fucking game, like get GTA 5 for show. <laughs> like, fucking, that's just fun. <laughs> like, go, yeah, it was, dude. Just a one of the best childhood memories I have, period, is me getting my original Xbox for Christmas with Halo 2 and all these awesome fucking games, dude. The best experience of my whole fucking life. One of them. No, not the best, but one of my childhood experiences. I was like, this yeah. is fucking awesome. And the Xbox, the reason why I play Xbox now and I'm not PC is exactly for that reason. At the time, PlayStation, you had to have these memory cards, these little fuckeries. Yeah. And you, you had could to have just, a bunch of yeah, bullshit. For the Xbox, you just saved it right onto the right Xbox, to the, a terabyte. A terabyte back then, that, that yeah. was fucking big brain move. <laughs> fucking, you could download music on. Download it all shit. your music, and you could play and it in the yeah. background while you're playing your game. This yeah, is fucking. some next level shit. I remember, I remember back in the day, Xbox 360 has like 500 terabytes or something like that. Fucking, Dude, like, this was remember, back before PlayStation was even close to anything like that. I remember fucking, fucking ridiculous. back in the day, the like you could download the music onto it and like in Madden and like NCAA and shit. Play it. The 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 the, the music would like come over the loudspeakers like in the game. Like Holy fucking shit. like that shit. I was like, I was like, that's dope as fuck. San Andreas. Yeah, you could play. You it on used the to radio be able station. to play it on the radio. Yeah, it was dope as fuck. On the radio in the car on yeah. San Andreas. So dude, now they just so have Spotify next level. loaded onto the yeah. shit. Yeah, next level. So sick. Like, dude. why don't they fucking do that now? Like, but I that's mean, what I'm I guess saying. That's an you, error like, no, yeah, that but you nobody, can't get back. Yeah, you, you, if you didn't like, experience it, you don't know CDs why I'm an Xbox now. guy. You don't know why I'm an Xbox guy if you've never experienced that. <laughs> like my card isn't for the first a time. CD player, like fucking, like you just, just got to Bluetooth that shit. It's crazy, like because you couldn't even do that now because nobody's got CDs. Like who's gonna fucking sit there? And spend yeah, there's time? not a Virgin Records spend, no more. Come on, who's now. gonna spend time burning CDs onto their fucking Xbox nowadays? I still have burnt CDs somewhere, but <laughs> fucking a. Eh? That's that's the thing, and that's another thing that you know. If you haven't experienced it, it's, uh, I don't know. Fuck, but we're from the last. We're from I used the last to lo- the best era. I used to love guard. going to the store to get a CD, like a fucking CD you play, and we didn't have it like streaming anywhere. We had the radio, and if you didn't hear it on the radio, it it was out of the ether of your knowledge. So I would go to record stores just to listen to like hip hop, like. Ludacris was my shit at the time. I yeah. was really into Ludacris. Remember when they had like the and the, all of his best songs were not even on the, the radio. I was like, dude, this is fucking sick. They would, they would have like the headphones at the wall, on the wall, and like you could like sample like a seat, like one song from a CD or something. Oh yeah, fucking. Uh, I remember that. It was like uh, the you could sample games, the whole like CD. You could sample like the first ten seconds or the first fifteen seconds of the whole oh, CD. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like. Yeah, listen to it over and over again. It's like that scene in New Guy when she's like sitting there with yeah. the headphones. You're squatting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking, uh, uh, but yeah, we fucking, we're from the, we're from a different Dude, age, I love man. that. I used to love going and the exciting of ripping um, open the dude, package. I, I was just going to say, I was just going to say fucking, uh, holding it up to the light. This is also. <laughs> before your time Devin but like when we were in high school bro fucking love it. we saw like the when like the first streaming like music streaming services started popping up and shit like I, like there was like uh or like when Pandora first became a thing 
<laughs> oh, was that like, was, was the like, hottest thing. I was ever. like, oh shit, Pam Dora. Like, and they would like give you a little facts about like the, the artist album or the shit. song or the artist and, and shit. Like, like, it's like, oh hell yeah. Well, you remember like, they I used to do it on cable. They used to have like a whole section for music on cable. Yeah, look at that. Jaw, jaw rules left handed, huh? <laughs> crazy. And they would always like, have those facts. Yeah, like, there. yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but like, yeah, I just remember like thinking, like, damn, this is crazy. Like, this is the future. Like, nobody's going to have CDs <laughs> in a little bit. Like, it's just going to be like this. And it's sure as shit. <laughs> oh. Well, and we, we released his album on the freaking. Kanye player, whatever it's called, and we uh, and we've talked about this earlier in this, but another thing that revolution changed the whole game for me was LimeWire. When that shit dropped, and I was like, yeah. "Are you <laughs> shitting me?" I don't I know like, if we, I don't know if we fucking said this before, but you remember so those amazing. Like, the feeling those, of going like, on LimeWire was amazing too. Remember those trap, those trap songs, like fucking, like it was like. It was always something that was too good to be true. Like the title would be like Big like Notorious B.I.G. featuring Tupac Bone Thugs, John right? Wolf, fucking 50 Cent. Oh and like the long ass like, title, and yeah, you would be like, like, like download that fuck? shit. All these people on this song, I need to check that out. Like boom. Dude, Five I would spend six. hours just burning CDs yeah, from Limewire. Okay. Like, I need this song on this album. Like make my own albums we're we're talking about piracy and yep yeah, we I allegedly even, don't we allegedly act like you didn't things. do it we allegedly <laughs> allegedly, allegedly this is what things. happened allegedly. allegedly allegedly went to rent a movie from red box at king supers <sighs> and then allegedly i gave us all up because i'm like we're gonna go burn these dvds <laughs> I'm like, as we're walking out of the store allegedly I, I yelled to this one of was our the dream friends. he had. Uh, yeah, it was in my dream. And I'm just like, we're going to go burn these CBD, C- not CBDs, DVDs. CBDs. <laughs> CBDs. <laughs> but yeah, CBDs. I remember being like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, fucking. It was, it was a wild time. I remember, I remember, I forget what movie this was, but like this dude. Like, his house gets raided, and, like, he's got, like, all these, like, burnt DVDs and shit in his uh, garage, and, like, the FBI, like, goes into the garage and shit, and, like, he, they see all the DVDs, and then, like, there's one, like, on the tray getting, like, getting ready to go in, and the, the FBI agent, he just, like, pushes it in, and then the FBI warning, like, pops up on the screen, mm. and he's, like, and then he looks at the guy, and he's, like, well, can't say we didn't warn you, and fucking, <laughs> I was, like, oh, that's cold as fuck. That's like, fucking hilarious. That's, like, it was awesome. Piracy is but, a victim's crime. But going back to LimeWire wire real quick, th- th- I just, this, this just popped up. They used to make low key songs that if you weren't on LimeWire, you couldn't even hear. Like, you couldn't even get it anywhere other than LimeWire. And this is like the first streaming. If you think about it, this is the first streaming because people would leak their shit or leak their albums really on LimeWire. Well, you did, but that's why I didn't bring up Napster because you had to download that shit. Well, and this this is this is low key like what's really dope is because one of the my favorite most amazing life changing bands I've ever listened to I've discovered on LimeWire, which is Slipknot. And if you don't know, this is when they were underground. This is before they anyone knew them. This is so low key underground under the underground under the underground y'all but that's when i listen to them and that shit i don't care what anyone says their lime wire success is the reason why they're fucking where they're at now i'm saying it Old claim. <laughs> because everyone um, was downloading their shit from lime wire loving it LimeWire. all right i have like who's uh, this what's this i have Still something not. to have something that <laughs> it was the sickest on. shit ever <laughs> and I, I i think i might want to record or like incorporate this into like future episodes don't but like one of us shit. one of, yeah don't don't do it it's not <laughs> worth it fucking um but um, we're not responsible yeah. for any of that <laughs> none of this is advice do not do not do things we're we've not done. financial advice we are we're professional idiots we've been training for years yes but um something i think i want to want us to incorporate toward like at the end of episodes uh like we we like all 
like take turns coming up with them or whatever. Like it doesn't have to be the same person or whatever. But we end off with like a question and like we all give an answer, like a short answer, like whether like we just like what like our responses to this. And like I was thinking of one. Uh, mine is, do you agree or disagree? Internet killed television or radio. I agree. I agree. And I elaborate? Yes. Oh, I said oh, a short answer, okay. not just oh uh, yeah. Because why I agree. would I, I uh, concur? I uh, concur. Yeah. <laughs> why would uh, I wait for a uh, a TV oh, no, show wait. to come on when I could just watch it on YouTube for free right now? That's that's the thing. Yeah, exactly. It's like uh, uh, don't get me I... wrong. People still have cable. But all those people oh are are fucking Gen Xers are higher, like they're older. Because I wait for a song to come on the radio. Our generation, the younger generation, they don't give a fuck about yeah. Comcast, direct I don't television. Even have, Get the fuck out of here! I don't here even have cable. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I watched something on cable, bro. Like, I don't remember the last like... time I saw a fucking ad, dude. Right, dude, we, we, we add free We've over elevated here. this like, shit. Like, We've elevated this free. shit. I don't, I don't see ads on YouTube, Hulu, Spotify, none of that. Fucking, I'm spoiled. Like, I can't go back. <laughs> like, I mm-hmm. can never see an ad again now. Like, I remember fucking, one time. Dude. I haven't seen, an, I haven't seen a commercial in, for nothing. In when so I see long. a commercial, I just roll my eyes now. <laughs> yeah, man, fucking, I remember one time. Where the fuck this come from? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Crazy. he has Hulu, and he oh not Hulu. Prime, yeah. And uh, we were watching Rick and Morty, and out of nowhere, a freaking ad, ad comes up, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Hey, I actually, 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 I don't want to hear it from you, Devin. Fucking, I remember you <laughs> gave me your Funimation password. Ads all over that bitch. I paid for that shit, I dude. Was like, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Deletes. Me watching well, ads. Life's too short. For that shit. I don't know what was going on. Well, but, and the beauty right, yeah, about uh... the internet. One last thing. The beauty about the internet is if you try hard enough, you can find anything on it for absolutely yeah, free. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Lens. For free. Uh, Especially if, some entertainment thing like an album or a book. If, if you okay. have an Android. <laughs> can't do that shit on my phones. If you're that's smart why, enough, that's why you I'm trying can to get, get back shit. into the Android world. But definitely don't go doing that. We would never promote something. No, like we'd that. Never, why, why we would never. Why would you want promote, free shit? We Come would on. Never promote theft or larceny of any kind. <laughs> and with that being said, we have been Culturology. Y'all have been the shit. If you made it this far, leave a like, subscribe, all of that. LimeWire was the shit. LimeWire was the shit. Peace.